Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.com, and I'm down here in Atlanta. We are doing our Building Outstanding Men and Boys Family Empowerment Series, and we're going around the country. We are going to Atlanta now. We're going to be headed to Louisville, Kentucky next. And after that, there's Florida, California, and Texas on, on the map, which uh, from what I've, I've heard from my business manager, so it seems that we're, we're, we're moving along. Now, uh, I wanted to bring in uh, my, my good brother, uh, respected colleague, Dr. Wilmer Leon from Howard University. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk to Dr. Leon about is the recent presidential debate, uh, how this has affected President Obama's chances, and just you know what to make of all this. And, and Dr. Leon, uh, in case you don't know, is one of the most respected black political scientists in the country. Uh, he also uh, he understands the presidency very well. He taught a class on it. Uh, he's also the host of Sirius XM, uh, the Channel 128, The Power. The show is called Inside the Issues with Wilmer Leon. It comes on Saturdays from. Um, 11 to 2. Is that right, Dr. Leon? Oh, I just wanted you to see that I was doing to you what the president was doing to Mitt Romney, which was looking down at my paper and totally ignoring you while you were speaking. Yes, my, my program is on Saturday. And I was about to get pissed. <laughs> I guess it does work. That's good. So, so tell me about the debate. What, what is your analysis on this? It looks like, I mean, it looks like President President Obama really screwed up that night. What, what, what's going on with that? Yes, he did. Well, I, I wrote a piece um, right after the debate called um, uh, Style Over Substance. In fairness to the president, in watching the debate, I believe that substantively he was much better than Mitt Romney. Uh, the president substantively talked about taxes. He talked about health care. He talked about some of the accomplishments of his administration. And so as I was watching it as a political scientist listening to the substance, I'm saying, wow, he's really, you know, kicking butt here. But when you take it beyond that and look at the stylistic analysis of it, which unfortunately so much of America buys more style than substance. President Obama got his hind parts kicked and totally, totally, totally dropped the ball. Because A, uh, he looked disengaged as I demonstrated at the opening of this, um, of this discussion. Uh, he was disengaged and he also allowed Mitt Romney to continue to tell the lies, and the lies went unchallenged. Now, I had someone tell me that when I use the word lie, I'm moving out of analysis into opinion, but I was raised to understand that when you say things that are not true and you know they are not true, that is a lie. So, you know, define it as you like. Um, and he did not use some of the biggest weapons in his arsenal, such as the 47% issue. That could have been huge, and he let it go. So, yes, the president totally, totally, uh, that was his moment. That was his opportunity. That was his kill shot, and he didn't take it. Mm. Wow, that's, that's really interesting. You know, I, I I don't know what to make of it. It's so it's, it's so funny how you can perceive it differently because, uh, based on your perspective. Because you know, I was sort of like yourself. I, I'm I'm a substance over style kind of person, and I was literally listening to the debate while I was you know working on my you know exactly. stuff on my laptop. And I, I we were having a debate party at my house, and everyone else was watching, but I was just listening for m much of the debate. And from what I heard, I said. Okay, he did a good job, but then I'm right. looking at the analysis, and they're saying, "Oh, he was, you know, he he was disengaged, and he looked like he didn't want to be there, and all this other stuff." And I'm thinking, "Wow, this is this is interesting." It seems that people are responding to that bo the body language more so than what he was actually saying. And I did notice that Mitt Romney uh, that that he sounded more aggressive. I noticed that the pitch of his voice was strong. He was fighting with the moderator for his airspace. He was really sort of going after the ball, and. I think that people seem disappointed that Barack was not, you know, equally aggressive. I mean, well, uh, is that was that your perception as well? Oh, absolutely. And in fact, it's interesting because in talking to my students about this, and in talking to some others about this, they talked about how Mitt Romney 
commanded the debate, and they talked about how Mitt Romney talked so much more than the president mm-hmm. did, and then I say to them, but do you realize that the president spoke for 42 minutes, and Mitt Romney spoke for 38 minutes? And wow. the people usually say, really? I said, yeah, the president spoke for four minutes more than Mitt Romney did, but the appearance is though Mitt Romney just ran away with the thing. That's amazing. That's amazing. You know, it, 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 it's certainly a reminder that uh, of something I, I remember learning a few years ago, that, that winning an argument, it, it doesn't just come down to, unfortunately, it doesn't come down to simply having the best argument or having, you know, the most facts in your favor. It, you know, style, how you go about getting your point across, your degree of assertiveness, uh, you know, that seems to play a strong role. It, you know, it makes me think about when I would argue with one of my uncles and when he would get drunk. You know, he'd, he'd, he'd drink a few beers and, and, and so he'd, we'd argue over, you know, who's better, the Falcons or the Cowboys? And every statistic might be in my favor. Let's say that that year the Cowboys have the best record, they've got the best receivers, the best offense, best defense, and I'm laying out stats. And I remember he would just talk over me. He would say, no, no, that's crazy. He wouldn't let me finish my sentences. You know, and, and it appeared that he was winning the argument. And so then I, I, I remember getting so frustrated. And then I said, you know what? Maybe instead of getting frustrated, I need to learn from this. And, and so when I started arguing with my uncle, I started becoming just as aggressive as him. And, I, and so I started winning those arguments, even if I didn't have all the facts. Now, it, it's kind of sad, right? Because it's not the way things are supposed to be, but since when was life what it was supposed to be? Now, I, I have a question I want to ask you, Dr. Leon, and this is the last word for you, brother. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Andrew Sullivan over at the Daily Beast, he says that Obama's uh, re-election chances are, are all but dead as a result of this debate. Um I don't, I don't see that. I mean, but he was laying out a lot of data to say this, and he says he's never seen a swing this dramatic after one debate uh, ever. He, he compared it to Reagan. He compared it to things that, that happened, you know, under Carter and Clinton and everything, and he said, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, do you think he was being excess, excessively dramatic? I mean, are, are his chances really, uh, you know, hurt that badly from this debate? Well, when I, I look at the numbers, there has been a dramatic swing. There's, there's no question about that. But we're still four weeks away from the election. There are still two more debates left and the vice presidential debate. I'm not going to say in any way, shape, or form that it's over, that the, you know, the president is done. What I will say is that the administration made a major, major miscalculation at a very critical point in the process and that they now have provided Mitt Romney with momentum that he did not need. And it can, it can only be attributable to their bad calculus. It, it, there's no reason in the world that when that was their moment, and they did not seize the moment. And that now has created some additional space for Mitt Romney that Mitt Romney did not need. And so I can't predict what the outcome is going to be, but I can tell you that if the president does not win, we will be looking back at this moment, and this will be the reason why. Wow. Wow. Well, spoken from the words of a true political science expert, uh, it, unfortunately, you don't see many true political science experts on TV. You just see black people that happen to be at the right place at the right time. God bless them, but we need to listen to people like you, Dr. Leon. So I appreciate you speaking to us at Your Black World. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Enjoy your trip and, and, and continue success with your uh, family building tour. All right. Well, thank you very much, my brother. I appreciate it. And everybody, this is Dr. Wilmer Leon. He is a political science professor at Howard University. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Let me go back to my ignoring you now. <laughs> and he is uh, he's the host of Inside the Issues with Wilmer Leon, which comes on Sirius XM, The Power, Channel 128, uh, Saturdays from 11 to 2. So until we meet again, please stay strong, be blessed, and be educated. We are gone. Peace. <laughs>